Hello friends, welcome to the part 3 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will be creating our brand new Nest.js application using the command line. So let me open my command prompt here. And I, I have already navigated to my project directory. So I'll use this command here from the official docs that says nest new then the project name. So I'll copy it till here and let's paste it. So I'll name the project as to do API. This is the API that we are creating. So as soon as you hit enter, it will ask you to choose the default package manager. So I have NPM on my machine installed, but if you have, if you have yarn, you can choose yarn. So I'll stick with NPM and hit enter. So give it a few seconds. This will install all the project dependencies and it will tell you when it's finished. Then we can open it in our IDE and see the project structure. All right, so just give it a few more minutes. And while it's doing this, I have this commandlet here. So we will also install type ORM. It's a package which will help us to interact with our backend database. That's MySQL. And this is the commandlet to install the type ORM package, the MySQL package, and the Nest.js type ORM version of it. Okay. So once this so once this is done, then we'll do it. So in the meantime, let's check the type ORM website. This is the official site here, and it has got so many options like relationships, entities, all those things. We will try to explore uh, entities, relations, and a little bit of query builder, not to uh, that much extent, but we will just see how it works. And this is really helpful, helpful to create uh, custom queries, SQL queries without writing any long SQL statements. Okay, so I think the installation is completed. Perfect. I can go to my IDE, go to open and refresh this part. So I have to do API. So I'm loading it with my within my IDE. And the first thing you will notice is the readme file that comes up automatically. This is the nest.js file. Okay, give it a sec. I don't need it. I can close it here. And this is the project structure on the left, directory structure. So if you see closely, uh, this is actually uh, what you have more or less in, in Angular. You have a source folder, you have a package.json file and all these uh, get ignore, tsconfig, node modules, okay? So this test folder is for the end-to-end -end testing. We will not be doing it in this uh, project, but it's there under the source folder we have our main files that are these five files so first one is the spec file for unit testing we don't need it i am going to delete it here from here second one is the controller file then we have the module a service and the main.ts file so if you open the main.ts file so you will notice that this is this has a similar structure than what we have in angular project okay so it's actually uh, using this nest factory method to initialize the app module and then it's listening on port 3000. So now if I go back to my terminal, maybe use, it, use this one and type npm run. Uh, can I zoom in? Okay. npm run then start dev. It's a command already present in my package.json here. Okay. So this will trigger this command in the backend. So if I hit enter, it says uh, npm not able to find the file. Oh, I need to go inside my project. That says to do API, my bad. And let's run the dev server again. Okay. So it's starting in watch mode and after a few seconds, you should be able to open it. And now if I go to my browser here and type localhost 3000, I see hello world. 
okay so this hello world is coming from my controller this is my default controller and this is the method that says get hello and it's calling the app service so if i go to my app service this is the method that's been called and it's returning hello world so if i say <coughs> sorry excuse me i'll change this to welcome to nest js api tutorial and i save my changes to my uh, CLI automatically automatically refreshes on seeing a change and if I go back to my browser hit refresh it says welcome to nest.js API tutorial this is how it functions and we will see how to create these methods what are these and we'll discuss this in in bit more detail okay so like I promised you we will create our first controller or first module here so let's quickly do that so I'm gonna cancel this for a time being i'll type nest so in angular we used to type ng then g to generate but here we'll type nest and then g to generate we want to generate a module and we'll name it to do okay so hit enter and give it a sec to complete the command and you will see a new folder here under the source folder the to do so this has got a module let's quickly generate the controller controller g controller or shortcut you can use co as an alias but i'll use the full name here for the first time controller to do and i don't want any spec files so i'll simply use dash dash no spec and also i will generate a service okay with no spec files now go back here you should see a controller and a service okay i'm gonna always add this to my git so we will start working on these files in our next video so make sure you stay tuned with me and please create this basic folder structure this new project in your machine and get ready for the for the fun which is coming in the next a uh, few videos okay so with that being said uh, i'm going to end this video here and uh, i'll see you in the next part till then please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't like this video put your comments and stay tuned thank you have a wonderful day